You, can, you guys, I, if I was you, I'd sit up, pay attention, grab a notepad and a pen and paper and get ready to learn what these guys are doing. So with that, I'm going to pass the call over to, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to speak those things that aren't quite yet as if they already are. Your newest chairman, Darla DeGrande Aguilera. And I can't wait till you hear how this lady right here got a new Tesla with her trading plan. And she's very literal, so she's going to break it down how she did it. So just to be clear, Dala, I'm literal because I've tried to do it my way. <laughs> and it doesn't work. So I've learned to just do whatever you say, even if it is like to the dot. What I did with, uh, with my Tesla, actually with any goal that I set for myself, I use um, a strategy that Dala taught me. It's called the 12-week year. So everything, every goal goes on a 12-week plan. And then I just reverse engineer it so that I can hit it. And I've never not hit my target. And so this specific one was for my car. So the first thing I did was I, and the reason that I did what I did with um, with the crypto education is because I was making money in the academy, but I wanted to use the skills that I had to put towards something. And I wanted to do it a very specific way. I wanted to purchase a car 100% in cash in that 12 week period. And I wanted to do it with zero dollars of my own money. I didn't want to use savings or anything like that. I wanted to see it actually working so then I could help other people, okay? So when I put my plan together, the first thing I did was a, a financial review. And this is something I learned from Melanie. She does like a, like a, what's it called? Financial Fitness Academy. But she was talking about finding that financial fat. So it's, looking at your uh, credit card statements and bank statements and finding where you're spending your money that you really don't need to. So for me, I love just coffee and just spending a lot going out for coffee every day. Um, Tori, her one was drinking. She decided like she doesn't need to drink every day. She doesn't need to go to the, the pokies every Wednesday. Um, so finding your financial fat and then getting rid of it because that's extra money that you can put towards your goal. Then with the other steps, I used the skills that I was learning in my cryptocurrency. And one of my favorites and probably the most easiest one was the crypto visa. Like they just give you cash back on any purchases, whether it's, you know, groceries or a phone bill or a new car, they just give you cash back. So there was an extra $2,000 that I made literally just by spending differently. OK, because the academy is there to teach us how to make money, but it's also there to teach us how to um, use our money better and create wealth from the money that we already have. So for me, that was just an easy peasy one. Then the other one was um, drilling down on what I was learning from Curtis Cobain and my portfolios. OK, so he's teaching us what assets we need to get involved in and what assets are going to be increasing the most. So I pulled together some of my savings and invested it in a few of the assets. Now, I didn't want to use any of that for the Tesla. I just wanted to get the difference to put towards the car. Uh, so I was able to get another 10,000 there. And, um, and then the other thing was using Mike Satiro and actually utilizing the staking and the liquidity providing. Okay, this is where you can have certain assets, but you can put it to work for you. You know, the, the smallest asset that I have is gaining 12% interest paid weekly. And then the highest asset I have is gaining 33,000% paid every six hours. Like there are, there are many projects out there that are paying a lot of interest. It's just a matter of doing the research, following the educators, and then putting it into practice. Okay, uh, the second one, I don't even know what list I'm on now. The fourth, fifth <laughs> is uh, is using the compounding. Okay, so every piece of uh, of profit that I was making, I was putting it back in, and I was doing this religiously every week. But you can do it daily. Like I guess the more that you're compounding, the better, right? But if I was earning a pocket of money here, here, and here, I was making sure that I would reinvest it so that the overall amount 
can compound and then grow even further. And um, and then and then same again with uh, just staking the savings and again using the compounding for the liquidity pools and everything as well. So my target was to get this Tesla paid 100% with what I had made in that 12 week period and to hit it by October 8th, 2021. And I think I hit it a week after or a week before. It doesn't matter, I hit it, so I was happy with that. But um, but yeah, Dala wanted me to share it because it's a, it's a great way to sort of, I guess, hit your goals, but have like an intention in place. And, uh, and Dala would say, she's like, you wouldn't just jump in your car and just go for a drive. You'd have a destination in, in, uh, in mind first before you jump in the car. And it's the same here. Like find out what it is that you want or that goal that you want to hit or that dream that you want to hit and then put your plan together because otherwise we're kind of just dabbling and not really getting anywhere. So that would probably be the, the one thing that I would say just to make it a must. Have that destination, that dream, that goal in place Reverse, and reverse engineer it into your plan and then hit it out of the park. I love it, Tanya. I thank you so much. And you guys, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, one of the people on Tanya's team, Amanda, Jane, and Dre Rez. They are almost, they've been here four months. Uh, has it been four months or less than? Four months, yeah. They're almost P1000s. And they broke six figures in their trading account in their third month. And because they're these, they Tanya is such an amazing leader. Like she is so amazing. She's so organized and systematic and, and coachable and trainable and disciplined. And let me tell you, she has her boundaries and her non-negotiables. She has got her family time and people know that's her family time. She's not working and taking calls during that time, but she pours the rest of that time into her team and her community. She's on the calls. She's always taking notes when she's on calls, always. Even when we're on our Zooms, she's got a notepad and she's taking notes even when we talk. And so I just can't say enough about her and and she's got traders that are already making, and we can say this because this is a team call. You can't talk about this stuff on a prospecting call, but she's got some traders. I don't know the name of it, how long she's been in, but she has $8,000 days. Yeah. How long? Yeah. Uh, you can you can thank uh, Teresa Guthrie for that one. <laughs> Yay, so, Teresa. Yeah. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's uh, been studying for seven months now and yeah, easily 8,000 a day. Yeah, it's crazy. That's the compound effect. I love it. Greg, did we lose you? <laughs> Amazing. You guys drop some sevens in the chat for these beautiful women. Wow, Tanya. I so taught her that book. You got we should all do that book. Everybody should have that book. I so part of Tan Tanya came into the academy because she was in my she was one of my Mac coaching clients. She hired me because she couldn't figure out why she couldn't create wealth and get out of her job. And so it was through developing her mindset and then I then introducing her to the academy and introducing her to the book, the 12 week, the 12 week year. And the 12 it 12 week year is the name of the book, the 12 week it year. Comes, it comes with a workbook. Amazing. Even, I gotta check that out. Mm -hmm. And so I did a, when she, when we first got into the Academy, I did a, I launched it out into the team and I forget what it was, Tanya, what was the contest or something? It was a run for rank, but you said, I'm not going to coach you until you get this book and you've already read it by the time we have our first session. So I had to jump on it and get it and read it so that I could be in, so I could get involved and be oh, on your course. Wow. <laughs> I hope you guys are catching everything that's being that's happening here right now. Um, Darla, first of all, congratulations for setting the bar high, right? And making requirements for people to work with you. See, here's the thing, guys. When you work with everybody, you're no good to anybody. Like that, like jot that part down. <laughs> Trust me, if you don't need it right now, even if you're brand new, you're gonna need it along your journey. If you're working with everybody, you're no good to anybody. And a good coach will always get you to do that will always get you to push your next best. And so, and they won't accept excuses. So Darla, first of all, congratulations for that, for coaching 
in a way that has got her to excel. Now look at how diligent she is and you bragging about how teachable and coachable. This is like the second nugget I took out of all of this, you guys, is sometimes we can, see, I had a mentor one time say, Greg, you know what the, the worst part about success is? How many of you guys would like to know what the worst part about success is? Just a little bit of it. Just a little bit of it. See, when you get started, you're brand new, you're hungry. Maybe you look at the academy, you start learning, you start building a team, you're, you're starving, basically. You know what I mean? Like starving for success. You're going after, like you start visualizing, like Darla was talking about, you start dreaming, you start hoping for more, right? Your faith is engaged, right? Faith comes by hearing. But the problem is, is that most people, after a while, look at this. There's 4,000 people on this team active, and there's less than 200 people on this call right now. Many people chose to go watch other people win a Super Bowl. I want you guys to catch this because this is like, what you guys are doing right now is you're hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Belief comes from seeing, right? You heard Tanya talk about the seeing part of things. She set a goal, she reverse engineered it and worked backwards. See, there's a good book that says, write the vision and make it plain on tablets so he or she who sees it can run towards it and not tarry. Something magical happens when you write your goals down and you're looking at it, guys. When you have it in front of you, you're thinking about it. See, all the greatest philosophers and theologians since the beginning of time, they argued about just about everything, but there was one thing they agreed on. You become what you think about. So I want to encourage, and I've I've been challenged on this call by you guys too. Um, uh, actually, I got really challenged last weekend when I went to David's event. But the worst part about success is just a little bit of it. And I want to encourage you guys to continue to put yourselves in environments to learn, to grow, to develop, to, to, to unfold, to hear more. See, you can hear something one time and your faith can be activated but if you stop hearing, it's not what you, faith doesn't come by what you heard. Faith comes by hearing. So I want to encourage you guys, and I actually want to applaud each and every one of you guys for being on this call, because you're continuing, you're continuing to hear. You're continuing to hear. Faith comes by hearing. So, so many golden nuggets on this call today with Darla and Tanya. You guys go ahead and drop some sevens in the chat for them incredible, incredible leaders, incredible followers, incredibly teachable, incredibly coachable. And it challenged me in my teachability and my coachability too. And so my hope is, is that it challenged you a little bit too. I think I can be just a little bit more teachable. How about you? I think I can be just a little bit more coachable. How about you? To watch what's happening in Tanya's life and Tanya's business is beyond inspiring. I want to challenge you guys, go watch that video on Free From The Rat Race so you can see what's happening inside of her organization. And I believe a tremendous amount of that has to do with how teachable and coachable she remains and her willingness to learn and grow so she can become a bigger, better version of herself to lead the masses, to impact people all over the globe. How many of you guys want to either directly or indirectly impact thousands of family lives in a positive way, putting them in a position where they can win, putting them in a position where they can go create their own economy, where they can learn this invaluable skill of multiplying your money in the largest financial markets in the world? I see a lot of yeses. So I want to challenge you guys, continue to put yourself in environments because faith comes by hearing not by what you heard. Don't be one of those people that heard something once or twice and stopped plugging in and stopped hearing. See, we have to starve our fear and feed our faith. And you guys are here feeding your faith tonight. 